Like Gab, a good, good friend. Marianne is a force to reckon with. She's an incredible presence. She really knows who she is. One of her greatest gifts in our community has been her capacity to walk with people through a uh, passage of death, actually. I suspect there's a connection between the fact that she lost her mom when she was seven and had to live that at a very young age. You talk about your mom being your angel right. and that she's always with you, right? right. In our community, uh, Marianne, uh, when we have a wake, if somebody's passed away, Marianne has no hesitation. She'll walk up to the person and she strokes their hair. She holds their hand. Remember when Aunt Norma died, it was a hard time for her family, right? right. And people were really struggling. And there was a lot of tension that was surfaced, right, between family members. And at the funeral, I think it was really hard for people to connect with their loss of their mom. Yeah, and do you remember what you said to Aunt Norma? What did you say to her? Hey, don't be afraid. I'm here now. And when you give communion to someone, the first thing you do is you give people an experience of communion. When you see somebody and you notice maybe that they have a new shirt on, that's right. or they have a new pair of pants, that's right. or they've just had their nails done, you'll say, hey, nice shirt, body of Christ. Good voice. Don't be afraid, Wendy. There seems to be a deep wisdom in Marianne. Yeah, and it's, it takes time and relationship to reveal that because on the surface, right, Marianne uh, to the world, right, doesn't possess the gifts of the world. <laughs> Look at you. Look at Pat, I think it's up. Shut up. You're talking about the lighting oh person? Oh my God, it's for you, <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> I see that humor is a very big and important part of your life. It's one of your gifts. I love my gift. You are my gift. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne.